Hey, this is Pat with Hardwire Tackle coming to you from the box. Today I'd like to talk to you about some harpoon tips. Uh, we've had some suggestions from several charter boats this year and we followed up on them and uh, took a little time and uh, I'd like to share them with you. Traditional halibut harpoon tip has got a piece of cable with or without a 12 watt swivel on the end of it. And what's happening is some of these charter boats over days, weeks, months, and years, the cable's getting kinked and it'll get frayed a little bit, which makes it really hard on the hand. But there was a couple things that they were talking to me about. And what's happening is, is sometimes if there's a bad harpoon shot on the halibut, the cable will tend to saw through the meat fairly easy. When I say a bad harpoon shot, I'm talking about into the guts or into the gills. This pectoral fin is where you want to harpoon the halibut. If you can hit the tip, that's great. If not, any place about where my fist is, is a money shot. This side's all meat, but if you get it close to the edge, it will tear out fairly easy. This is all very, very, very soft tissue. And behind this gill plate, if you actually manage to get it through it, there's nothing there until you hit the other side, which will tear out really easy there. So. They wanted something to stop or to help with a bad harpoon shop, shot. And uh, what they've come up with, what, what I've come up with is a piece of Spectra line that's rated to about 1,600 pounds. And instead of a large 12 watt swivel at the end of it, I put a large loop that you can clip into with your buoy and line uh, but also put on a 6 aught swivel to put on to help with an assist rod. And what this does is if you have a really wild fish, uh, you can clean off another line or clip into it, harpoon it, now you have two lines to bring it back to the boat, which will help tremendously on a wild fish or in bad, really bad current. Um, the other thing is if you dispatch the fish and it dies in an awkward position, bringing that fish back to the boat, uh, that second line is almost, it's almost needed in every instance. Um, I'd like to thank a couple charter boats that helped along with this project, uh, Crazy Ray's Adventures out of Whittier, Alaska. They harpoon a lot of big fish as well as uh, Brian with Bottom Line Charters out of Lower Cook Inlet. They also harpoon a lot of big fish. Both of them have used it this summer and they've switched all of their gear to it. Um, as always, if you have any questions or suggestions, uh, shoot us an email or ask us in the link below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. I'd like to thank you for watching and we'll see you soon. Thank you.